All right. Welcome back to Cogmind. We are at the intro again, even though I just streamed yesterday because we blasted through that run. Um, because we're a little OP due to what I was running. We'll get to that in a second. But anyway, we are playing RPG-like mode, Cogmind's uh, latest update. And it's got a whole new progression system. So with yesterday's stream, um, I pretty much took all of the early game type crutches you can get. We had the Exiles tech, which we had the massively overpowered Firepult, we had, um, which is really good in RPG like mode specifically. We also had Farcom, and we also had Riff. Uh, I wasn't doing any bot hacking, but um, <clears throat> I just got Riff really quickly running through a garrison just so that we could have the alert indicator. But anyway, so uh, I would consider, especially in RPG-like mode, all those to be crutches because they make it even easier um, than uh, than it already is. It's a little easier, I think, than usual. Uh, not that... Well, anyway, we'll, we'll get into the details of that later. But um, anyway, so today we're going to do a no-crutches run, and I won't rush through it uh, like I did uh, this latter half of the last one, probably. So we'll probably be doing this run for, I guess, today and tomorrow because I am going to stream again tomorrow. Um, there's actually one other RPG-like mode run that I really want to do. Uh, but I guess it'll have to wait until after I get back uh, next week. I won't be streaming. So maybe the week after we'll do a four-slot RPG like run, which would be pretty fun. I mean, just a, try a, a challenge run where you can't evolve slots at all and ha only have to use upgrades in your four items. That'd be interesting. So, um, <clears throat> hey, Eternal Mage. Yep, new mode. Just as of yesterday. So... Uh, anyway, so we're not going to do crutches today. Um, and also, ah, so uh, I could mention a couple things about yesterday's stream real quick, too. First of all, there was a quick cra a little crash there, um, and it was because I was typing, I was pressing a bunch of extra keys really quickly while streaming and wasn't paying as much attention, which is a good thing because um, it allowed me to figure out an accidental UI bug that none of the testers actually ended up doing. And it happened to be when you open the upgrades menu, if you press left or right before you press up or down, which is what uh, allows you to select things in one of the keyboard modes, there's a lot of input methods here, but uh, it'll, it would crash the interface. Um, so anyway, we jumped right back in and it wasn't an issue, but uh, I already fixed that bug and it's already been uh, uploaded uh, onto Steam. I did that yesterday. So the only people who would not have that fix are anyone who um, downloaded from the DRM free fast spring download uh, within the first hours and if it, it was released. And if you did do that, you might want to get the latest version, which fixes that bug, even though it's not something that a lot of people are really hit. I fixed that, and I also made another update to experience. Um, you don't get experience from looping back to the same floor anymore because that would be a little excessive. Uh, so, yeah, I removed that. Uh, anyway, so today we're going to try for a... Yesterday we really relied on the fire pult, and ah, that one other thing I wanted to mention is, so I did finally think of a very appropriate nerf for the Firepult. Um, I'd always been holding back on nerfing it because, well, part of the reason is it's not a guaranteed item. Uh, you only might get it in a run. You could play for a long time and never even see it. So I really did want it to be a really fun, effective weapon. That's kind of how a lot of the Exiles items are. Uh, you have a choice, but among those choices, there might be um, some really useful tech <laughs> or not um, not stuff that really necessarily goes with your build, but if you want to build around it, it can be really effective for you and it's fun. So because it's not guaranteed, it can be a little overpowered. But the fire pole in particular, especially in this mode too, it's even crazier, all of the Exiles tech. But anyway, even in the regular mode, I'm going to nerf it a bit. Um, and the idea was uh, that I came up with was what it'll do is it'll get hotter and hotter as you're using it. So over time... Um, It'll probably it'll eventually become completely unusable because it would just be too damn hot, just spewing out extra heat. But uh, you can use it for much longer if you're willing to sacrifice the slots to add extra cooling. So I kind of like that ability where there's um, uh, where you have that option there. There's flexibility in the design, so it's not going to just uh, you know it won't totally break on you. It's kind of like the breaking automated weapon systems that the Exiles have is uh, you know you can repair them and use them, but they keep breaking fa faster and faster each time you repair them. So there's the option there to continue using it if you want to, but there's a, a bit of a drawback as well. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, yeah, right, Stormclave. Core integrity is just extra heat capacity. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it would eventually become pretty unbearable. 
But anyway. Um, okay, so anyway, that's my idea for the fire pole. That won't be going in now, though. That's, that's something for, like, beta 10 or whatever. Um, so for now, yeah, if you go to the exiles in this mode, yeah, this mode becomes a fair bit easier usually. Uh, there's a lot of uh, powerful tech you can steal. So today we're not going to do that. We're going to try and play in a... Uh, uh, a, a different way. <laughs> so we're going to start with wheels again. Oh, that's right. We only have one slot. Let's see. And we need our slots. <laughs> uh, so yeah, today we're going to go with more, more slots. And we will be doing combat because that's what I like to do. But we're not going to go with too many extra slots. We're really going to start with a base build similar to last time. Oh, we get 690. I like to go. I want some sight range. We might even end up getting sensors and sensor range for this time because we're not going to be doing, again, no, no crutches. So we're not going to have Farcom. We'll run into more enemies probably because of it or also have less advantageous situations. So we'll start. Uh, wait a minute. Get some heat. There we go. Heat dissipation. Yeah, that's a good start. All right. Walking power plant build. Yeah, some people have done that even in the regular mode, which is kind of crazy <laughs> to make a, a walking power plant. <laughs> yeah, as Bad Emperor says, the best way to balance something is to not play OP strats. Well, what I will say is that the RPG-like mode is not going to be balanced like the regular mode is. Uh, the intent with the regular mode is to make it pretty balanced, uh, in sp including in terms of scoring. Um, uh, we want their, we, you know, we don't want people... Uh, to be getting crazy scores because they're farming, stuff like that. So I do a lot of anti-farming design for the regular mode. But I will not be doing that for RPG-like mode, even though it's a mode that people can continue to play, and I hope people do. Uh, it won't be as competitive. It's more of a, you know, it's a more of a, a way that certain people can enjoy the game that they uh, normally can't. Because um, some people have trouble, uh, you know, enjoying Cogmind the way it was originally designed, which is, you know, with lots of item destruction, and building on the fly, a lot of adapting. It's more about building something that you can get attached to. You have your permanent upgrades. You're gonna, you can stick with your build a lot more easily. It's kind of, it's an easier mode. There's less to, less to think about. It's a lot, it's, it's a lot less stressful as a result too. And I mean, not every game has to be completely stressful in all its forms. So anyway, the, the regular mode will always be important and the focus of that. But uh, I did want to emphasize that we're not going. It's not going to be as balanced. That's for sure. I will not be focusing on balance. I will uh, continue to upgrade this, up, update this mode though. Um, depending on, as long as people are still playing it, I will happily be making uh, changes and additions. Right. Uh, I think we'll go with. I'm gonna try a kinetics combat build for this run. You don't need a single interpreter, dude. Just get out of the way. Uh-oh. Technician's going to spot us. <laughs> yes, exactly, Nicolay. <laughs> Looking at you, negative Steam reviews. Yeah. So I, I, I don't... So any of you who do happen to see people who are saying they can't enjoy Cogmine because of item destruction, you know, recommend them this mode. That's, that's what I plan to do, and that's a big reason of why I built it. I mean, partially it's fun uh, for those of us. You know, it's fun for us to play. Am I going to beat them? I'm going to beat them there. Uh, it's fun for us to play, but it's also um, something that I think could, uh, yeah, help other people who, you know, enjoy the game. Because there's a lot to discover in the world, and it's also, this mode doesn't necessarily make it easy for everyone. It seems really easy for us, because, you know, a lot of us have played a lot and are pretty decent in terms of, of strategy and whatnot. And uh, so it, it, it seems fairly easy, but, you know, um, pe plenty of people are still going to die fairly easily in this mode. So it changes the game. Uh, not necessarily in a bad way there. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> assimilate. There we go. Oh, man. He's got a different room in here. <laughs> you freak. Oh, he's going to make it. There's another one. Oh, there's two operators. The other one's going to we're going to own, though. This operator, we just put an assimilate charge on here. So this operator is going to be ours, but he's going to immediately be uh, accosted by these uh, the, the grunt out there. Uh, that's a good point, Nicolay. Yeah, upgrade to core hover and run around at 50 speed on the first floor. That makes sense. 
Yeah. Or find step says imprint. Eh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it seems I'm trying to avoid crutches, and I know imprinting can actually be a bad thing in some ways later on. I do want to do another imprinting run soon. I was planning on doing it as kind of like the regular mode, but... Oh, there was another... Uh, um, oh, no, I didn't think so. I won't mention that. All right. Oh, blade traps. Identified by our operator friend here. Uh, I guess... Oh, look at that. It decayed immediately. Damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping we'd get some protomatter there. Alright, so we have a little friend here. He has identified blade traps. Oh, I should probably tell him to come with us. Oh, look at that. The only way forward has blade traps. <laughs> and there's no way to cut through. We have to walk over blade traps, apparently. Yeah, I just threw on wheels, I guess, to to block, block some damage. But it doesn't really matter, actually. Yeah, a core hover might be actually a good idea at the beginning. There's a lot of different strategies for everyone to figure out uh, with this mode. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> Walked over a blade trap. I did leave Mr. Operator back there. Oh, look, he's identifying... He's telling us there's EMP traps ahead. All right, we'll take these guys in here. Maybe they'll give us a little bit of proto-matter. They don't exactly give much, but... Oh, there's some right there. Get out of the way, dude. All right, you're good. that's how we're going to get you out of the way there. All right, get a little bit of proto-matter. There's a mines exit. We're not going to do that. Well, we could do the mines anyway and just not go to the exiles. Because you do get extra XP for going through different maps. Not a whole lot for the mines, but... Well, we can't have our operator friend follow unless we get rid of the blade traps. Well, we disabled some of them. We disabled some of the blade traps down there. No, I think. Might have been more up here, actually. Never mind. Oh, another terminal. Oh, check for emergency exit. There won't be any down there. I don't. Uh, there should. There won't be any. I doubt. Yeah, we could use the operator to disarm the traps. I think we're a little far away now. Uh, oh, actually, this terminal, I don't know if it's usable anymore. But yeah, we could technically, if we went to this terminal and disarm traps, we could disarm those traps and get right by them. I mean, this isn't super important either way, but... <sighs> All right, keep it on our core integrity there. Mainly just looking for a grenade launcher. Oh, another operator. Whoops. <gasps> Around the corner he goes. All right, fine. Actually, let's find out what's inside this uh, holler, dude. Oh, there comes the investigation from the north. Oh, all right. One of the haulers on this... There's two haulers on this floor. One of them is carrying a grenade launcher. That's one of the haulers. Ooh. Uh, thought he was headed into a dead end room. There's a way out. <laughs> Come back here. Yes. Oh, this wasn't the dude. Oh, but he had armor. We could pick that up. Not that we. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Not that we really need the armor, but uh, it'll help a little bit. Help our other parts, really, rather than our core.
Mmm, protomatter. You, die quickly so I can grab the protomatter. Everybody needs to get out of the way. Oh, yes, double protomatter. Ooh, more explosives in this room. Eh, Alright, there's another hauler out there. No tracking for us. Might as well grab this. Oh, nice. He's got a small laser, very short range. <laughs> Can't actually shoot us yet. That's exactly what we needed. More experience points, right? Oh shoot, I don't want to stand next to that. Not that it's going to matter, I guess, but... Hello! Oh, hey Laconish. Um, <clears throat> thanks. Glad you like the new mode. Uh, armor transfer damage to core. Yes, it absolutely does. Um, that's one of, I mean, yeah. There's a, a lot of other ways mechanics could have maybe been tweaked to make the mode a little more balanced or to recover the value of some parts, but I at least did change the design to recover the value of armor somewhat in that originally um, you were kind of, you were going to regenerate just by waiting and all damage was going to be transferred to your core. I decided eventually we needed to, uh, some percentage to be transferred actually to the parts themselves in order to retain some of the balance. And it works out pretty well. You won't lose parts unless you're, uh, you know, if you're playing really well, you, um, unless you're playing very poorly, you won't lose parts. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the, was the goal there. Any way to change protomatter weight block time? Um, nope, there's no way to do that. Because um, <clears throat> I decided it was more valuable. Um, I know it can be annoying, but... Uh, I also wanted it to be that you could... Um, hold weight and not have to worry about things going bad while you're doing that or even just you know spamming the key <laughs> yeah it it protects your other parts though storm cleaver because the coverage still matters so armor still has that value at least even if again yeah it's your parts don't have to worry too much about taking damage unless Unless, again, you're having trouble collecting enough uh, protomatter. All right. Well, anyway, we didn't find... Where is the other dude, actually? Um, well, there's got to be a hauler somewhere. He's got a, he's got a grenade launcher. Maybe we, don't, maybe we don't really need it, but... Oh, here he is. This guy's got a grenade launcher. Also, our friend is running away. <laughs> our operator friend. Hey, stop that. You're picking on our operator friend? Oh man, I accidentally killed him. <laughs> well, fine then. I was going to say, maybe these guys will give us some protomatter in exchange. And they did. Some hackware. Alright, now... Yeah, sorry about that, Mr. Proto... Uh, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> operator. Hey, come back here. There it is, the grenade launcher. Found it. All right, that's better. Don't need that. Okay, time to leave. <sighs> gonna head out the materials exit, which is gonna be to the northeast. Oh, hey guys. Uh, I guess we could fight them for proto matter. Maybe. I don't know if we'll come out ahead of this. <laughs> Still running away. Well, not really running away, he's trying to go around.
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's love. The operator's like, my savior. God went, no. <laughs> All right, done with that floor. Um, uh, we did raise a level already, and actually we're about to raise another one. Reach level three. All righty then. Uh, we have 3,000 experience. So let's see. Mm, I'm going to go with less inventory until we actually need it maybe this, this run. Don't think we will for a while. What we can do, I'd like this. Up our damage. 20% KI damage. Give us a little bit more core integrity too. Oh, actually, maybe we should go with another weapon. Put a third one on there. Uh, max resistance is 20. Did you see me? I just hit it there when I, uh, uh, before I switched to the weapon slot. Mm, all right, so we'll go with this. A little bit of extra core integrity. We got another weapon slot, so we can put on a third kinetic weapon. And now our kinetic weapons are going to be doing more damage, which will get even better as we get better stuff. Oh, another one. I thought it was an escort, but it was a squad. Sometimes they're tricky like that. What do you have? Oh, um, energy guns. Dang it. Oh, well. I was hoping for uh, kinetic. All right. Mm. I'm going to hunt the rest of them, maybe. Actually, we can see where they are. There's one, two, three, four, five. These are all the haulers we can see. I put on a transport network coupler. Ooh, hey, this dude dropped his protomatter inside. Nice. Okay, hunted around for a grenade launcher, and we already found a mini grenade launcher, which is even better. Now you're building a new section down there. I'm going to check around, I guess, just to get some experience. Otherwise, actually, let's go hauler hunting. Not something I normally do, actually. Hey, B-Said. Yep, we were playing the new RPG-like mode. Oh, hey, guys. Hmm. No proto-matter drops. One of the big things you really focus on now in this mode. All right, there's a hauler. I'm going to go for him. Visual processing. Ooh, I love those. Oh, we already have better range, though. Oh, been spotted here. We should probably find out what's in them to see if there's if it's worth actually going after any of the haulers. No, oh, Zink, you playing too? <laughs> Just found a plasma flamer. Hmm. Yeah, you can you can do some really fun builds actually in this mode because you can't lose weapons, so you can take a lot of smaller, weaker early game weapons. Nikolai was doing that this morning um, uh, with a, a a mid game. I don't know. I guess he made it to the mid game at least with the, like like five or six heavy EM shotguns. Because some of the early games have unique qualities, and it's nice to stack a lot of them, but you can't do that as effectively in the regular game. So. A lot of interesting. Whoops, zero percent. Hmm. Raise another level. So see now we can go up to KI damage twenty, and we can also give ourselves some resistances for free too. Yay! Yeah, 
Yeah. All right, so there we go. Uh, so all they got is light cannons, and ion engines, salvage. They don't have anything, so it's not even worth going after haulers. Hmm. Well, fine then. Blade traps out there. Disabled. All right, we disarmed all the blade traps. Mm. Just got a few random prototypes. So we don't actually need the transport network coupler anymore. I will remove that once I get something else I want. Ooh, that's exactly what I want right here. There we go. Visual processor. Hey, we spotted a pest because we just got put on that visual processor. We can even hit him from here with our assault rifles. This is a dangerous room. <laughs> I think we'll just leave that room. Uh, well, you did go after, uh, you did go to DC, Nikolai. I would think that would be kind of hard, <laughs> especially with um, with those that kind of weaponry. to deal with this the other way. Lucky punks. Less lucky punks. Now I'm curious to know how many parts we'll lose on this run. I think on the last I had forgotten to look at it when we checked out the score sheet at the end of the last run, but I think we only lost one part like a wheel at the beginning when I was being careless. Like, in other words, a completely unimportant, unnecessary part. Not sure if we lost more. Ah, oh, missed his friend, whatever. Dude in his freaking armor. Um. Oh, auto gun. Yeah, I would like one of those. more proto matter twenty. Okay, I could use some more inventory space now, maybe, just because I want to pick up extra proto matter. But eh, I guess we could leave it behind. Or we'll need to go back up and use it in a second. Oh, come on. Don't have much in the way of... Uh, oh, shoot, I can't actually hit that guy. Oh, whoops. It's still there. Perfect. Yep, see you down there. Oh, got him with his data core right in front of the uh, terminal. Not that we're really going to need it, but... Hey, Akame. Um, the, the mode will turn on automatically um, for the next two weeks. As long as you don't load a save. If you load a save, it won't. But um, you can also force it to turn on. But it's already active now until uh, through the new year. 
Is the humpback armor strategy viable? There are no humpback storm cleaver. There's no storage units in this mode at all. So you can't use humpback armor. <laughs> Notice we only have two inventory slots right now, which is even below what you normally have. We started with zero. So there are no storage units to pick up at all. Okay, anyway, what are we doing here direct? Wow, machine index is, z index is zero, even with the dynamic key. It is one of the hardest hacks because it gives you a ton of info. Quite extensive. Now yeah, we can find, well, all right, wait, alarm trap, sure, whatever. All right, okay, we've got some IDs. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, we can't get it at this depth. I wanted to get the enhanced auto gun schematic and build some of those and ha like stack a bunch of them. That would be cool. Guess we can't do that yet. Fine then. Oh yeah, we're still being attacked. Uh, <laughs> forgot about that. Oops, missed. Sort of missed. Oops, that's me not paying attention. Defender. Defenders are good because they have a lot of probe matter. Don't wait for him to move so and step around the corner so he can't attack us first. We get the first shot. Uh. Give ourselves some accuracy. Just so we can kill these guys faster. And ARC up there. Oh, he's coming after us for sure. Eh. Alright. Okay. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Hey, dude. Do it. Oh, that hurt. Oh, the double hurt. How much proto matter is that? 17 proto matter. I don't care. Oh, okay. Now there's two of them. All right. All right. We'll do that again. Don't need to. Oh, sh oh not much left because of the grenade launcher, but not bad either. Raise another level. 2200. Uh, is it? Oh, so let's all ask is there an in, a max inventory limit? There is not, but um, one of the things that some of you may not know if you haven't played the mode or heard about it or read about it before in detail is that the costs increase exponentially so uh, well not exponentially but it's linear but it gets more expensive with every one you get so if you see there goes the cost goes up by 250 each time so you can only carry so much inventory you don't really need it in this mode though by comparison because you're not going to be losing parts so um and yeah there are different different differences in this mode from different difficulties there are two main differences one is you get more experience in adventurer and explorer modes when you start so you can add, you can get more upgrades um, right away. It's kind of like a, a more extended character generation. And the other difference is if you fall behind the level curve, uh, you gain experience faster uh, as you do things. That's the two main differences. Yeah, those are the two only differences. <laughs> Not that people are really likely to fall behind the experience curve, but um, it's possible if you keep finding exits quickly and without doing anything. Uh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, it could happen. You'd have to do it. It's not very easy, though. So that's less important. The more important one is that the fact that you could start with more experience. And uh, so that's helpful. You can get a couple, get some extra upgrades with that. Mm, okay, so we'll raise the level here. Core integrity, 800. Uh, that's true, Storm Cleaver. The Z event is an easy way to be behind. You mean the shortcut? The shortcut could be, yeah, you could get way, way behind. That's for sure. Um, hmm. I'm going to wait for now. <clears throat> oh, 
Uh, no, that's intentional, Zinc. Uh, the protomatter by despawn, I think you mean decay. Yeah, it, it decays. It can decay. It's completely random. It's not likely that it'll happen right away, but it can possibly. And it's all, it's, it's already balanced, though. Um, it's intentional. I mean, you're still going to end up, as long as you're playing pretty decently, you'll have plenty of protomatter to uh, repair. What a melee weapon. Hmm. Thinking that because I want to get through that wall to the east side. Oh, that's right. Anyway, um, okay, we're kind of doing plenty of stuff on this floor. You gonna come over here? Fine. Apparently not. Oh, all right. There's an exit over here to the west. It's where these guys came from, I think. Oh, well, there's only one. Uh, either way, there's probably an exit over here. Closer than the other ones. Get out of the way, dude. Get in the way of me and my protomatter. No one gets between me and my protomatter. Hauler is pointless. Let's switch our armor, I guess. A mace. Meh. Another level. Purging threat important. Oh, rocket launcher. Yeah, it's hard to say. Grenade launchers and rocket launchers are both uh, decent in their own way. No, wait. Don't need that. Aerolav unit. And a hover unit. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can do this. Or overweight. Not overweight. Now we're moving at 51. <clears throat> okay, that's a lot more guys. <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? Um, am I pressing the wrong button? <clears throat> I believe, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I was pressing no auto pair found. Okay, never mind. That's why. Oops. There went some alert. I'm standing on this proto matter so that it doesn't decay. It won't decay if you're standing on it. <laughs> You look at parts a lot more differently in this mode. Air jet. Oh, okay. Heavy assault rifle for the extra damage. All right, so we have max KI damage now. And we have some resistances too. Let's pump up our resistances even more. going <clears> to <throat> use that rather than utility slots for our resistance. That plus a force field will be effective. So you can see there we now have 20% in our resistances.
uh, Akime. I don't know. It, it'll depend if you loaded a save or not. Um, or if you are using the DRM free version and didn't update, or you didn't update your Steam version yet. Uh, have to make sure you're on the latest actual release. A lot of possibilities there. But yeah, once it's loaded, it'll show in your log. Uh, and if you're not sure, uh, you can check the announcement. Uh, okay, let's see. Disarm some shock trap, sure, whatever. Heavy mace, nuclear course, and ah, there it is. Six enhanced auto guns. Somebody here has six enhanced auto guns. Another buddy, another one has one enhanced auto gun. And we already have the ID for that, so we will know which ones are faulty. All right, let's go hunt that down. That is exactly what I want. Ooh, a commando. Hmm. Grenade launcher to the west. All right, we're going to start having matter issues before long, I'm sure, too, so... Hey, wait a minute. There's more proto-matter over here. Dude, out of the way. Get away from my proto-matter, even though I don't actually go after proto-matter. Ah, uh, responsive upgrades. Oh, that's right. We're hunting these guys. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, but uh, we'll take all the matter. Oh, here's another one. Oh, there's another guy. Guess we have to get rid of him first. Getting lucky there with the proto matter drops lately. Nope, not you either. Oh, actually, I don't know. None of them dropped theirs. I was hoping... Oh, wait, no, he did. This will aid our hunting. Hey, wait, oh, shoot, he took it. He took it. There it is. Now I gotta go face a hunter for it. I want the transport network coupler. <laughs> One of our stray shots disabled that or destabilized that thing and it took out the hunter as we approached. Didn't even have a chance. Data core over here too. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a garrison down there. It's the uh sub level eight materials garrison. Advanced weight redistribution. Nope. Oh, somebody dropped proto matter. The sentry. Um, yeah, if you're not seeing the uh, the level bar in the bottom left, you're not in the uh, you're not actually in the right mode. Um, you might have turned off 
force modes off earlier in your options in Steam. I don't know if you're on Steam or not. Um, but to look at that. Because if you leave an old option in, in your uh, Steam which says to turn off all special modes, then they'll never trigger for you. Including this one. Hmm, didn't manage to shut that off. Ooh, enhanced optical array. Wow, this is like a major processor room. <laughs> Uh, shoot, I want to go through the wall, but we can't. Oh, yes, one shot at him. Perfect. But anyway, a part of the reason I want to run do this particular run using no crutches is for balance purposes. Because I hadn't had a chance to... There was less time to balance this mode before it was released. And I didn't want to balance air onto the side of too difficult. Um, because uh, some of the uh, earliest runs I did in this mode were very difficult because proto matter was more scarce, so I made it less scarce. And uh, um, yeah, anyway, so because there's a that's a big way to balance this mode is with the amount of proto matter you find. Um, but I don't want it to be too hard. Um, it's kind of like I mean that's the problem with balancing regular roguelikes in general. Regular roguelikes that aren't Cogmind. <laughs> Cogmind has its own balance. Um, own approach to balance, and I think it has a, lot, a much easier time of, may, of having a challenging game, which is still balanced, because you can't heal the way you normally can in other roguelikes. But once you can heal, it changes a lot of stuff. It's generally going to err on the side of... It's a lot harder to balance. It's going to end up being either a little too easy or a little too hard. Um, yeah, so anyway. But part of the reason I wanted to just run this way is to see if there's another... if there we can do some more tweaking with it. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is thinking about is lowering protomatter gains from larger bots and or especially late game uh, bots. But in the end, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be worth it because you can still, using the unique mechanics of this mode combined with the unique mechanics of, of Cogmind in general, you can still generally um, um, you know, almost farm your way to whatever you want. So I don't know if it's going to matter, but we'll see how other people experience the mode as well, because uh, only if still, as of now, we don't have a whole lot of feedback on it. So, and it's the only feedback we have so far is from players who are generally quite good. Hmm. All right. So we're after this. Go. Oh, you get out of the way. But as with the regular mode as well. Oh, this is the one with the single enhanced auto gun. As with the regular mode, um, you, know, you can create your own challenges as well, which is a big part of what people do after they've been playing Cogmind for a while. <laughs> All right, so now you have one enhanced auto gun. Does this guy have more? No, he's got the other stuff. Another rocket launcher. There is a hauler down here. Oh yeah, we found him. There he is. It's the dude. Enhanced auto gun. Enhanced auto gun. Enhanced auto gun. <laughs> oh yeah, our volley speed is now faster than uh, uh, faster than the standard uh, one gun volley. Enhanced auto gun array. That's right. We've got our own. Um, four enhanced auto guns taped together, right? We're making our own exile tech. <laughs> this is something you can do in the regular game, and uh, it's, it's pretty effective. I mean, anytime you... Even if you start with this many weapon slots, it works really well, I think, overall. I'm, I'm wondering whether I should take more enhanced auto guns and add even more slots for them. But I don't want to go too overboard and, and, and destabilize the build for later, but I don't know, maybe... Whatever. <laughs> maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> Now we need is a weapon cycler, and then we'll run out of matter in like two turns. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We are the tape. Yeah, that's right, Star Weaver. <laughs> Maybe a few more. <laughs> well, there's two more here. Uh, our weapon slots are getting expensive. You can't stay with these tables. I'm filled with more DACA. Okay, here we go. There's another one. Um, now, now we can't even carry the other one unless we are. In, we can't even get more inventory or weapon slots. Hmm. More accuracy. These things, their bonus is they're a great delay that each of these weapons adds. We could probably get a pretty crazy fest build with this. I wonder how it would work in the late game. This is again one of those builds that you can Mimi builds you can kind of put together in this mode. You can't put together in a normal, in the regular mode, and you can see how it fares in the late game. <laughs> Nine F F F F enter. Uh huh. Oh, uh, these things need heat management. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like exactly, Nikolai. It is rather easy to to deal with heat management. I wonder how high hot we'll get. Um, hmm. Well, we found what we needed, so we don't need the transport network coupler anymore. That's what I was after. And we can pretty much leave this floor now. I'll leave the other one, I guess. Two exits right here. Actually, I wonder if one of these leads to, like, storage. I haven't been to storage in a while. Um, I don't think there's a signal interpreter here, though. No. We'd have to go find one, like this guy. Oh, we could use some more aim too. <laughs> Visual processing unit. Wow, there's a lot of watchers. All right, whoa, our heat's going really high. Look at that. Oh, that could mess us up. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, the south exit is factory for sure. Uh, the other one, yeah, the other one could be storage, yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, our matter too. I'm gonna want matter storage for this stuff. Let's get some, definitely get some heat in here. We're gonna need some cooling as well, in addition to just running this stuff. Plus 24 will help. We're still, that was a little excessive. Danger, hmm, very dangerous. Luckily we got out of that okay. I wasn't watching how fast it was going up. Visual processing. All right, where's the other watcher? Here he is. Oh, we're coming after you. Oh, spears. No, now we need a spear. Shoot, can't pick it up. Unless I drop something. Oh, I'll come back in a second. Well, oh, where'd that dude go? Here he is. These things, oh, no wonder we're missing a lot. These things have a fair amount of recoil, too. They're kind of, oh, wait, there we go. That's, oh, that's terrain scanning. Shoot, he didn't drop it. He dropped his other processor. Sheesh. There are a lot of these, though. 
finally. Okay. Signal interpreter. Right now we are, are notice our class is a gunner. I am not surprised. <laughs> There's an axe too. Uh, did we, you didn't raise the level yet. Uh, just, I guess we've just been killing watchers. That doesn't count. <laughs> I do kind of want to pick up one of those spears, though. Uh, you can't increase the damage from melee weapons, though, no zinc. That would be incredibly destabilizing. <laughs> They're already insane in terms of damage. Uh, that's true. That's true, Nikolai. We probably don't need the grenade launcher anymore. Because if uh, with the, all these auto guns, we can take out groups pretty well. It, this, the grenade launchers are still going to be, I think, better in some cases. But unless I can, we'll get a replacement anyway, maybe. Well, maybe not. But <laughs> we're going to stick with this because we don't have to worry about losing parts. So it's less of an issue. We've got to kind of change our mentality. And now we can identify the exit. Just after we kill this guy. He was easy to hit. <laughs> Oh, let's get some uh, matter storage here. Okay, now we can find out where the exits lead. All right, yeah, storage is the way out of this floor. So into storage we go. Boom. <laughs> oh, you get a longsword plus one zinc? Yeah, that's, that's probably what we should have gone with uh, yesterday. Oh, nice. <laughs> An alarm right at the entrance of storage that called... A hunter out of a garrison sitting in our face. <laughs> Whoa, a lot of treads. Yeah, advanced treads. If we were playing a regular mode, I would totally take these. Oh, <clears throat> advanced treads are really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, just killed the stuff that's coming out of the garrison automatically, right? All right, shut that thing down. You're not spitting out anything else. All right, so we don't have to worry about weapons for, like, ever. <laughs> oh, man, another ballistic gun. Mm, now I'm curious what that is. Oh, improved assault rifle. Those are pretty good at the beginning, but we're beyond that. Prototype energy, there's another enhanced auto gun in here. Huh. Oh man, this really mows stuff down. Carrying. There's a whole lot of more enhanced auto guns being carried around on this floor. Oh, no stockpiles. Oh, check out these traps. <laughs> Prototype hover units. Alrighty then, we want that. Good thing we know where the traps are. Tricky. Cool arrow levs. Nice. You get a lot of really good stuff in storage. Especially at um, all the way down in um, materials depths. All the way down here, storage is really effective because it has the it kind of has mostly static loot as opposed to depth-based loot. It's kind of 
So if you get it, the lower you get it, the better everything's going to be. It's a really dangerous floor, though, as well, in general, because it's so close quarters. But, yeah, I haven't been here for a while. Hmm. Time to throw on another propulsion slot. Could throw on two more propulsion slots. And this guy's going to be in our way. It's the drone room. <laughs> Yeah, it's true, Zinc. Uh, heart level 10, still in materials. It's, um, you generally, you your levels go up pretty quickly. You feel, I mean, you feel pretty powerful in the early game compared to usual in this mode. Oh, that's true. We could incre increase our speed even more. Um, what can we get up to? 22. Wow. Oops, actually, I could just do that. Okay. Drone 1. <laughs> They cause a mess. All right, never mind. Everybody, go drones. <laughs> Normally, you stagger drones so that they explore more efficiently, but I'm not doing that. I'm just telling them all to go. <laughs> what are those grenade launchers? Regular ones. Where our build is still a gunner, with all these guns, we're probably going to stay a gunner for a while. We don't have any uh, special designation, though. Ooh, dude ran into a trap. Actually, it would be nice if we had... If we had some gun... Uh, some dr if our drones actually had weapons, right? <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> a river of drones, yeah. And there they are over there. There's the exit. Found the exit down here. All right, we'll head there. More enhanced auto guns. Yes, there they are. This is the enhanced auto gun carrier. <laughs> Can you guys make it to me? <laughs> Alright, now we're getting kind of hot. We do need a heat sink. <laughs> also, it's because we're grunts are shooting at us. We're kind of overheating. Going to have to pull back a little bit. And cool off real quick. There we go. Cooled off. Well, no, 500 matter. Probably a little excessive for now, but eh. They don't have to think about it. Improved medium lasers.
What's the range on these things, actually? I think they have good range, probably. Um, 22. Yeah, kinetic weapons generally have pretty good range, so they probably go well in this mode because of the crazy... Because of how easy it is to get better sight range, too. Of course, you can't always use it when the corridor's filled with guys, but... Take out this dude first. Advanced beam rifles are quite good. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the door. This is the door that requires a manual code to get through. I know the code, but we're not going to go that way. There is a chance that one day there will be even more stuff behind that door. There is stuff behind that door, and it has a purpose for going there. But Plus, there's a special event that can happen. But uh, even more, I've got plans... Yeah, even in the regular mode, uh, having a bunch of uh, armed drones can be really effective. Oh, cool injector, finally. Oh wait, we have now, all right, 2,400 now. He was in the way. Oops, improved shield generator. Hmm. We can carry a lot more stuff. We could throw on another power source if we need one. Put up a botnet. We're still a gunner. I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious. <laughs> yes, we're doing something you'd never do in the regular game, which is fight right next to a garrison. Oh, they dropped two sentries. That is a lot of proto matter. Yeah, probably gonna nerf that, but I don't know. We we're gonna a really good build. I want to see how other people do with not as good of builds. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to seeing the leaderboards. Obviously the scores and builds are going to be crazy and higher for this mode, but it'll also shed some light on uh, how people are doing, which will help with more balance. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Nikolai. It does seem kind of like what your build was. Uh, dump some XP and targeting would probably be good, yeah. Or low on it. We've only two utilities left so far. Kind of crazy. I already did actually put some XP into targeting. All it's done is been enough to uh, cover the cost of the recoil, though. All right, sealed that. Uh, we already do have a plus 10 to targeting. We get up to 90. Yeah, we could put on a target analyzer. Um, what does these have? 1% critical. Hmm. Great sword. Well, 
with the the targeting we have, it would be better, it's better to engage at range too, because enemies normally don't have as good of targeting. Same as in the regular mode. Heavy rocket launcher. Actually going to leave it behind, I guess. <laughs> All right. So we know the caves are at this depth, of course. We knew that much, but there's nothing else. I guess that's the only possibility since we already went through storage. Yeah, I don't have a route planned for this run if anybody has any suggestions or stuff that they'd like to see. Like a dead operator. Um, hmm. Another prototype hover. Ours is probably better than whatever this is. Yeah. This guy alone? Where's his grunt friends? There they are. I was going to say, it can't, can't be possible. It's possibly be alone. If you see one of them, they're probably leading a squad of grunts. We could probably throw some points into hacking just so that we can uh, make it easier to find exits and stuff. I guess we'll leave that there. <laughs> this exit leads to the next factory depth. Well, we know that. I have to know that because uh, we already checked for the branch exits. Plus, you can tell by the way the layout. It looks. All right, let's see if we can take these guys out in the open. I think this build's going to end up being too powerful. <laughs> it's not going to do a lot of damage to the later bots, though, I guess, but... We've already maxed out our damage. What else could we do? Actually, no, we can put on a kin accelerator. That would help retain efficiency later on. Interesting. This must be a factory exit too. Uh, I guess it's, yeah, it's a random one. Well, all right. I guess we could go take this, the caves and see what's out there. Although, I don't know. I didn't really, nah, next time, let's not do that. Just probably to more uh, crutches. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, Storm Cleaver, that's right, the Kinacelerator. <laughs> the linked auto gun schematic. You can't download that schematic. It would be interesting to add some more challenges, though, by trying to take on We're getting scanned in Section 7 as a possibility. We'd need to definitely have a better build for that. Level 16. Oh, damn! Found in fell our, found ourselves into a, into a shoot here. <laughs> yeah, hey, dude. <laughs> oh no, you too. All right, but well, I'm leaving you behind, and we're out of here. Improved phase shifter. Rail gun to the south. Oh shoot, there's all the guys closing on us here. Good thing we're slow and you're fast. I mean, I, what am I? You know, what? You're slow and we're fast. <laughs> we could have actually gone to check if, if there was any help in here. There might have been. Actually, wait, there's no EMP. There's no EMP. If there's no MP, EMP, that means someone turned it off. If someone turned it off, it means they're here. Oh, there's a lot of guys in the way, though. That's kind of scary. I don't want them sitting next to me. There's no EMP. Oh, yeah. That's right, folks. No EMP. Time to cause some chaos. Now, I wouldn't call this a crutch. This is more of a... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. This is more of a cause chaos. Maybe you can hit high security type thing. <laughs> Ouch. All right, yeah. Let's get away from the missiles here. Oh, yeah. Alright, final help. Watch your own guys. Or not. They started firing at the more distant. Oh, uh, that guy actually did that, I guess. Oh, there's some more proto matter. 100. 100, give me that. Oh, I don't want to get out well, there with the rockets, though. Oh, you're hurting my proto matter. How much proto matter is there now at 87? Eh, still worth picking up. Dudes, cut it out. All right. Well, there's that waste taken care of. Plenty of matter to refill on. All right. Let's go cause some chaos.
Yeah, you bet hostiles are spotted. Did you tell them how many hostiles are spotted? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, just hit the garrison with a missile. Two missiles, why not? <laughs> Probably go turn that garrison off. All right, that didn't work. Oh no, here come the missiles. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. I am going to go this way. Oh, that's right, that terminal doesn't work anymore. Shoot. Mm, oh, there's an exit right ahead. Probably leads to the caves. Surgeon friends. Mm. We could become hacker gunner. Get yet more ranged accuracy. Go over a hundred. It does actually matter if you have over a hundred accuracy because you know obviously there's negative modifiers as well. This is your base. Not that it's really necessary. Kind of excessive. 900 is already, as you can see, we're hitting most everything with every shot. We still only have utility, two utility slots, which is kind of insane. I wonder if we should go for a run, we just keep it low. Actually, we could get a hardcore achievement with that. Well, I don't know if that counts, actually. I don't know if that, what does that check? Hmm, good question. I don't know if it checks the total number of utility slots or it checks whether you evolved any. Hmm. Something we didn't really have to consider before the addition of RPG leg -like mode. Alright, so we have a coolant injector, which is helping with this. <laughs> uh, Nikolai says, yeah, don't leave any floor before getting high sec for difficulty. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Pump up the difficulty. All right. How does devolution work? I, I have no. Um, you can't. You can't combine challenge modes and special modes. That's that's never been a thing. Throw on one more inventory slot. Probably not necessary, but. I wonder if all our friends are dead. What's going on? Seeing as no one's following, it's likely they are. Actually, I wonder where Zion is. I was now thinking if we're going to try and go for high security, it would be interesting if we had, uh, if we were imprinted. It's really easy to do that with uh, friends. Damage my auto gun. Oh, all right. We still have a. Apparently, there's still a, uh, an allied martyr running around here. Uh oh, that martyr's about to find an operator. 
fire missiles at him. Here he comes. Yep, there he goes. Oh, he's firing through the wall now. Oh, because he, he blew away the wall when he took out the operator. Distraction. I'm seeing how far we can go without worrying too much about getting extra levels. Oh, that room. Oh, trap went off. Took out a lot of stuff in this room. Our friends are still, apparently there's still some friends around though. They were just having fun killing everything back there. They're slow. Dude, sir. Alright, you need to die because you're getting annoying. Just wouldn't get out of the way. Better me than our friends. I wonder what the alert is now. They fix that whole wall. Oh, there's an ARC. It's just patrolling. Looks like there's a way off to the west side there. We can go the other way though. Well, we could also take it out, but. Combat air jets. Uh, combat air jets are probably slower. We don't need them. We're not, uh, we don't actually, air jets, combat air jets are gonna be slower than what we have. And we don't need it. Look at our support. Because we're using early game weapons that are lightweight. <laughs> early game guns. A whole stack of them. Seal that one off. I wonder, hmm, be nice to know what our alert level is actually. Conveyor. No, thank you. Oh. 4N. Okay, finally. We are definitely at higher level. Destroy some machines. Ah, oh, that's a good one. We already are at 4N. But... Oh, we're not going to need that in a second. Get some IDs for the hell of it. Boom, love the delay. 
fire so many weapons that it's likely to destabilize, but it won't happen immediately. Hmm. None of those counted. We're not very good at blowing stuff up. Maybe we need a cannon. Very weak weapons. Data core we can't use. Oh, there was a conicillator? I didn't notice it. Where is it? Let's grab that. Conicillator, conicillator. Did someone pick it up? Or was that ages ago? Status hacks doesn't really... In the reactor room? Oh, you mean it's blown up now. <laughs> well, if it's just a regular one, that's okay anyway. In fact, we'll get, an, yeah, we'll get another one later. But uh, speaking of, actually... Oh, we can't hack this one anymore, can we? Yeah, there's nothing we can do now. Hey, let's go for another, some other terminals. We can't get, even get an improved one. We can only get a basic one. Where's a fabricator that we didn't mess up? Oh, it's down there. We just connected this all. Let me in. Oh, God. <laughs> There's no matter right now. That's annoying. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a basic one anyway, but we do have a schematic if we want to build it at later a later point. Finally got our weapons repaired. <laughs> Enhanced auto gun build. All right, now we have a kinocelerator. It turns all of our 16 to 24 damage enhanced auto guns to 21 to 24, and that's just the basic version. Once we get um, once we get some of the better ones, they'll be doing max damage with every hit, which is pretty decent. Combat air jets and enhanced or advanced targeting. Hmm. Oh, we already did, oh, we raised our targeting. Yeah, we're at 90 now. HVAC is malfunctioning again. 
<laughs> exactly. The, the grunt's not reacting to the friends dying, hitting them from way too far away. You need to not make it to your terminal. Well, whatever. Never made it to his terminal. Sure. Shock bombs. Oh, I like this array. God. These auto guns are not good for this. Okay, there, finally. Oh, there's a garrison nearby. It's just to the west. These guys are resistant to our weapons, but we'll get them eventually. Eventually, eventually. <laughs> Not the smartest thing to use them with, use against them. Do you guys like to contribute to the alert level? Uh oh. Oh look, there's a regular Kinesilla right here. <laughs> it's actually not easy to get high security right now. <laughs> ARC, hmm. This? Oh, did they send an assault? What the hell? No, oh, there was an assault sent. I wasn't even paying attention to that. The assault finally made it here. <laughs> Breaking walls until high sec. <laughs> oh, whoops, I shot the wrong dude. This is like the main da dangerous thing here at Imp. Whew, got him. <laughs> can blow our parts off. That can actually be really nasty in this mode. Gotta make sure you can take them out first. What is that ARC doing sitting over there? Oh, here he is. They kill their friend. Got their angel first. Then the melee bots. And the grunts. Yep. Definitely too much proto matter when you've got a, a very good build. The heck is the alert level? 5x. Hmm. Huh, it'd be funny, what if there's a way to report to increase the alert level? That's an interesting idea. Never thought of that before. Oh my god, a weapon cycler. <laughs> One and a half turns to fire all of our weapons.
Yeah, hack to send assaults, zinc, stuff like that. You can use a terminal to increase alert to shoot it. <laughs> this is true. That does work that way. But what about even in larger chunks, right? That would be interesting. Report some kind of uh, massive issue. I really think we need like carry a cannon or something just for shooting machines. She finally got the message. Oh, we just ran out of energy. What the? Oh, it's because we're running a weapon cycler. Apparently that gives us net negative and the kin accelerator. Mm. All right, we could use another power slot, I guess. I mean, you can also just get pure energy as well. And some energy storage. I haven't done any of that yet. Mm. It's cheap. Need a new power source. Also, I guess we're kind of on a clock now. <laughs> There's probably an exit to the south. We're actually near an exit, I think, maybe. Core analyzer. Basic one, meh. Oh, okay, that's another idea I don't really think of. Thanks, we, uh, Winky. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll get another one soon, but well, yeah, we, should, we could refit here, maybe, or not. Never mind. We could refit to get another power source. It's true. Or we could steal something stupid from these little guys, but I guess we'll get one before long. Also, we need some matter. Yeah, all these guys are headed south. There's an exit to the south of us. Here comes that squad. There it is. Found the exit. Ooh, big old fabricator. Uh, it's hard to answer that question, Storm Cleaver, whether the core energy generation uh, upgrade is comparable to a power slot because um, there are different factors involved. Like with the power source, you have to consider there's heat and they can shut down and they're heavy. And also there's uh, the power slot. The cost will increase, of course, as you get more power sources, but also the cost of getting direct energy generation increases as you get more. So, I mean, yeah, you'd have to actually do the math <laughs> to figure out where um, one becomes more valuable than the other. And there'll be trade off back and forth as you get higher. So, yeah, not an easy question to answer. All right, so with the energy cy weapon cycler on, we're still going to be in that negative. Oh, it's because we don't have the power source yet. There we go, power source. Ooh, okay, fission core. Also enhanced nuclear cores. We'll go with the fission, even though it's not not as light, but it'll give us more power, and we can run our weapon cycler. And next thing we need is um, matter right here. Oh, there we go, matter. Okay, now we're doing pretty good on matter. Performing unscheduled system reset. What? When did we go into high security? Uh, 20 more turns. Here, look at all these guys. Lockdown effect in effect. Look at all these guys. Hey. Slow down there. Assault force is dispatched. Oh, look, there's one right now. Well, it's kind of annoying to have ambush traps in the middle here. They get triggered by 
corruption or something. Wanted to take out their force field first. Crazy range. Not used to being able to use this kind of range. We're still just a regular gunner on our class. It's kind of funny. Would be a hack gunner if I'd put more into it. Oh my god, this build is going to be unstoppable still. <laughs> well, because we also have a key accelerator. It's allowing us to catch up a little to the power curve. Uh, now I'm kind of wishing I did have explosives. <laughs> uh oh, prototype ballistic guns. Oh, I guess we have to check that out. Ah, improved heavy machine gun. Oh my god. Um, their delay isn't quite as good as the enhanced auto gun, but the damage difference is pretty significant. Improved heavy machine guns are actually pretty good. You can see here's an auto gun compared to the heavy machine gun. Oh, they have negative salvage though. That would be kind of detrimental to uh, proto batter. Probably not a huge deal, but. The question is whether the delay change isn't worth it. How many are there? Could test them out. We kind of want to get, get into one upgrade eventually anyway, and I think actually there's like only two of them here. No, one is faulty. So, yeah, it makes sense. Um, that's true, Tony. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking about that. A salvage targeting computer would actually be helpful to combat that. Um, so far, we're, we're ahead on proto matter. But one thing I noticed when I was using part of the reason I ended up um, making proto matter a little, you know, a, a little more lenient in how much you can get and use, is because during my test runs, I think I was running cannons for some of them, and that was really messing up the amount of proto matter I could get. And after realizing that, I was thinking about going back on it and changing it and reducing the proto matter again. But um, I, I decided to release it like this to first see how it plays because there wasn't enough time to test it again um, as thoroughly. But yeah, the salvage can really affect it. I was thinking about getting rid of that originally. Um, that's one of the, There's so many different considerations for this mode that I was thinking about. Um, but I ended up deciding to stick with uh, just not change uh, too many more variables. Oh yeah, heavy machine gun. Oh my god, four fighters. <laughs> They advance as a wall. So uh, one of the other things that changed 
in this mode, in this, not just this mode, in 9.3, there were other changes, remember, not just the mode itself. And you'll notice that um, uh, high security actually did change. Uh, it's a little more difficult. Oh, wow, we're low on matter. <laughs> Let's go pick up some matter before the enemies arrive. Here they come. Oh, God. Hey, wait. Oh, they killed him. <laughs> I was going to say, here comes an imp, and they shot the imp. All right, then. Good job. Um, what was I just saying? I forgot. No, I was too worried about the imp. Yes, got both of his weapons. Oh, these heavy machine guns, yeah. Really helping finishing guys off. Oh, now I recall what I was saying, now that I see these ARCs. Yes, I was talking about the high sec changes in 9.3. There you go, Nikolai. Um, so, uh, yeah, in 9.3, there were actually some changes that were made. Uh, high security was made more difficult. Um, mainly, again, more difficult in terms of farming it, and not more difficult in terms of just what it is uh, to begin with. So if you hit ISEC, there's still the idea is you can leave, and the, the initials, initially it won't really change much, but uh, you'll find that later... Um, the uh, composition of the squads is more varied now and can get a little more deadly. <laughs> Triple marksman ARC for three musketeers reference. That would be <laughs> esoteric. Um, yeah, not exactly, but yeah, I think um, I think prototypes can now appear with them. Um, yeah, they can. Um, I don't remember the. It's been a while since I worked on that part because I did that actually early in 9.3 development. But yeah, uh, there are definitely, as, as, as you say, Nikolai, programmers uh, can come. So same with hunters. Uh, the original assaults, the original assaults a long time ago excluded all these things uh, intentionally. And I never really revisited it as players got a lot better, as there were more things to deal with high security. So it became kind of easy to farm, uh, far easier than it was intended and far, far easier than you were. It was really uh, possible to deal with in earlier versions of Cogmine because you didn't have as many uh, powerful tools to use. But now that you do, it was about time to make them more powerful. Uh, and uh, so uh, the assaults that come in high security are definitely more capable as they should be. I also changed the composition of the ones that attack Warlord's base. Um, but that change was kind of interesting because I actually intended it for it to be a little different than it was. And I realized while I was going through all this assault thing, looking at the composition of assaults that I kind of, um, I think I left out a couple of things that uh, were supposed to be in it. They were in the code, but it wasn't actually using it. I think that's what happened. Oh, we should actually open these guys. It's actually effective to open them from range. Once you have... Um, Good superior range, and once you have superior firepower and aim. Oh man, a missile right now would be really nice. I mean, more effective than this, but we're gonna be effective enough. But you know, it's kind of nice to blow stuff up with a missile. Probably need to get rid of this guy who's charging us. They will overwhelm us before long. Four, seven, one. Gotta watch our core. Without a missile, we have to take a lot of hits. Heavy assault forces dispatched. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's the first one. Earlier it was just assault forces. Now they're going heavy assaults. They're gonna, it's gonna get crazier soon. Oh shoot, they're coming from the south. All right, this could get hard. <laughs> we might have to upgrade our core immediately. We have 6,500 XP. <laughs> All right, let's find out what's in the guy to the south. No. There's an imp down there. I need to take him out before he gets here. Insufficient matter. Oh, I ran out of matter. Okay, gotcha. Luckily, there's a lot of matter around here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey ZXC, how long before RPG Life becomes the main game mode? Yeah, not happening. Very different game. I do rather like it though. And I, I, as I was talking about before, I think uh, it'll be pretty enjoyable for the people who can't get into the regular game. But it's definitely balanced differently. As in the regular game is balanced and this one isn't. <laughs> All right, so there's an exit to the south. Technically, assaults can be dispatched from that exit, which means I uh, kind of need to get out of here before too long. Otherwise, we get cut off. Because we do not have a way to overcome enemies quickly, and our core is very low right now. We'll be okay. Let me get rid of these guys first. This one's 75. Okay. All right, let's plot our little course here. Oh, all right, yeah, see all the pro matter down here decayed already. There's some to the north. If we wait too long and have to fight a whole bunch more squads, so. Mm. Segregator, <laughs> of course. Hey, dude programmer passing by. I guess I go. it's worth going back up here for this. I know we have some in our inventory, but... Oh, all right. Oh. Hello, ARCs. Oh, wow, that's a big group. All right, got the imp. That's what I really wanted to get. All right, we're done there. Oh, shoot. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, that's true. We can overload our propulsion. I forgot about that. Completely forgot we're using cooled arrow loads. So, uh, as you can see, we did raise some more levels, but we don't raise much. Right now we're level 21. That's because we're only on um, Factory 6, which means um, our XP gains are actually diminishing now. So it's not really worth farming for very long once you're already at the upper ends of the levels. We're not getting a whole lot of experience. Once we go up to the next floor, though, that'll be different. Although I'm not sure exactly how far ahead of the curve we are again. All right, what's our alert? It could be very high. Current alert, 5x. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you're in high security, um, if you continue fighting, for, for example, for farming purposes or whatever, and you go to the next floor, it's you will definitely still be in high security even after the level reduction. So we're not technically in it, but we could go drop into it at any moment, uh, basically, if you start fighting. Now yeah, we could place our engine here. There we go, light angular momentum. Hmm, that's awfully far away. We can go towards that upper caves exit. The ambush trap. Oh, there's a lot of guys around the corner here. Two Two patrols together, looks like. Uh, this will hit us high security into high security probably. Good chance of it. Got his weapon. Oh, we did hit what? I thought we weren't gonna hit that. There weren't very many left. Worked out. <clears throat> no, but as uh, I was mentioning earlier, ZXC2, I think um, I think this uh, mode will become the primary mode for a number of players. It's just a question of how many. So I will allocate more development time to it if it becomes something 
people want to play. I know I've already heard from several people who said they're going to be revisiting Cogmind after they bounced off of it earlier. Oops. Wrong direction. Linear graph jet. Garrison. <clears throat> yeah, we are still doing. This build is definitely very powerful, <laughs> considering how good we're doing without even using up all of our XP. Did you see what we have here? 8,000 extra. Oh, I heard that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, gonna heck, it's gonna rewire that guy. Didn't work out like that. Got him from behind. <laughs> and then the door closed. All those records with exclamation marks and lore. Yeah, I don't go after lore in this um, in my runs. I've seen the lore. Surprised we're not in high security yet. Huh. The surf latches onto a broken conveyor. How did that conveyor even get. Oh, it got. Oh, never mind. Huh. Funny. <clears throat> it's because of the explosion. <laughs> Interesting. It's carrying him around. <laughs> Storm Cleaver. Um, flight units? Yeah, there's flight units there. We did flight last time. Um, we could. It's not really necessary, I don't think. Still got to be at 5x. Oh, no way. He dropped improved heavy machine guns. Huh. Yeah, so I think it's worth... We need kind of need to improve... The auto guns are, are going to not cut it anymore. Um, and they're starting to get a little weak. And the improved heavy machine gun is basically an upgrade to an auto gun. Just not quite as fast, but worth it for the extra damage, I think. Uh, yeah, it was pretty neat, Captain Winky, though. <laughs> you ended up as a broken bot with them um, from that explosion. Oh, we're not going to get to too much here. Never mind.
the range. Normally I would purge threat here. Not today. Um, whoops. Yeah, we can't get the improved kill accelerator now. Got the schematic. Yeah, you're resistant, but that's okay. Get you eventually. Get your friend too. Oh, significant disruption. How come we haven't hit high sec yet? Cannon. Oh, that's right. Again, we are going to start having less proto matter as a result of confrontations. Got to kind of be aware of that. I'd like to find all the fabricators and build another accelerator. That'd be very nice. I guess that would only increase our damage by so much, but. Oh, look, there it is right there. Yes, it's found six fabricators. Boom, there's one right to the west, and one right to the east. Take the east one. Put a Trojan tracking, uh, tracking Trojan on there so we can see if anyone's coming. Failed it. Oh well. Fine. Put a button in on here. And head to the other one. Actually, wait a minute. That one's pretty far away. Yep, guess we're going west. Fabricator index. A garrison around the corner. Feels like there's a garrison. There it is. Another garrison just coming through hidden doors to flank us. All right. Yeah, this time it's gonna work. Probably. Oh my god, it didn't work. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I guess I didn't put any more into hacking, which is kind of funny because we now have 8,000. Notice we've only raised a little bit. We haven't raised much despite all the destruction because we're kind of high level. Oh, wow. All right, he's got a missile. That's actually pretty decent mid-game firepower. I don't see these very often. Targeting plus 30%. A little bit of a delay. Hmm. I'll take one. Don't get to fire them very often anyway. Yeah, launcher I think would be kind of nice if we don't need the proto matter from uh, an enemy. A particular, uh, if we're doing okay on proto matter then firing a launcher is going to be a little more effective than the machine guns. All right, so, well, we unfortunately, the nearest fabricators are now way off on the other side of the map. There's a cave exit there. I'm still surprised we haven't hit high sec, considering the alert we came in on. Of course, there's an assault coming now. Oh. 
Uh oh. Okay, never mind. We got it. Here we go. Mm, EM explosion, so all it's going to do is mess up their aiming. <laughs> They're not going to be able to hit us. <laughs> oh. Used it as cover. Whoops, do not do that. Okay, less running out of matter. <laughs> One of those recyclers just got hit. This guy's got, I think you can see those wheels chopped off. Oh, no, he didn't. He just got chopped with all is all. Oh, a oh, uh, hyper velocity gauss, yeah. That would be good in this mode too, from range. Ooh, okay, there's a garrison. Wow. 60% critical. Tons of penetration. Damage kind of low, but they're mainly for their criticals, obviously. Their range is 22, though. Five hypervelocity gauss and a recoil utility. What is their recoil actually? Yeah, recoil is eight. Dang, you'd you'd want yeah, you'd want treads with this. Or you need the recoil nullifier. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to run a bank of those otherwise. Could be pretty good though. Although uh, the only, the main problem with stacking those is they won't uh, switch targets. Oh, there's a beast. They won't switch targets. You know, I don't know if we can take out a beast. <laughs> Now, um, hmm. Oh, nice. There's an ambush trap right next to the garrison. <laughs> okay, now we got some more guys. <laughs> Just for good measure. See, I can kill both of those guys in one, sh one volley, specifically because... Hey guys, wait, let's go this way. I think you can see where this is heading. That didn't hurt too much. <laughs> hurt them a fair bit. I don't, I've never actually fired a team at in a regular game. That, I don't think that was pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, target analyzer? Uh, where is it? Is it gone now? We passed it up and got blown up. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We could do with a target analyzer. They're pretty easy to grab off of a programmer. Oh, yeah, we also need a better weapon cycler. Of course we do. Not really need, but it would be effective. I guess we should go check out what the caves are like. Another significant disruption. Isn't the alert level like ridiculously high? It should be still at 5x. It seems weird. That's not triggering high security.
Yeah, here's where it would be nice if we had penetrating weapons. Like the hypervelocity. Just fire right through, guys. That's not who I actually wanted to fire at. Alright, we'll take them both down. Oh, shoot. There's an incoming. Pretty fast. Oh shoot. Let's go this way. <laughs> there he is. Aha, got your segregator. Sheesh, finally. Finally pissed them off enough. Oh god, I just ran out of matter. Oh shoot. <laughs> Four matter. Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, the hyper. Yeah, the hypervelocity multi rails would be pretty good. They're great for critical because they got three projectiles. And we just ran out of matter. Alright. Time to solve this problem. Shoot, that guy's in my way. <laughs> okay. I needed that matter. So that I could attach a pick. Uh, use this one so that we can get out of this wall sometime soon, hopefully. There we go. Alright, we'll be back later. <laughs> you guys just wait right there. We're gonna go find some matter right here. These guys have matter. Alright, collecting matter. Oh, good job. Killed his friend. So he dropped, he went and picked up his matter. All right. Oh shoot, okay, I need to get rid of this dude. Or miss him, uh-oh, uh-oh, he's approaching. Okay, that's not good. Got him back, we got him back. All right, we're back to full matter. Good. Um, yeah. Seriously, should get an alarm right there. Okay. Um, proto matter. Still carrying around on nice reserves, but. Be nice to not use them. You know, save them forever. Till we die. Unlikely, but. 400. Yeah, another fab would have been good. All right, 326. All right, that works out well. He's blocked off. Nice. Oh shoot, there's another ARC coming. <laughs> as long as it doesn't have an imp inside, it's probably okay. Plus we've got it in, pen in a, not in the open, which makes it a lot easier.
All right, two more ARCs. Programmer. <laughs> Cleaning corruption. Nice. Alright. They have an angel with them, but... Oh, shoot. I was going to say, it's probably not going to help, but I also just accidentally hit myself with a missile. Need to get that proto matter before it decays. That one decayed pretty quickly. Didn't get that. <clears throat> it is random when it happens. Should probably repair our machine guns. Now have 9,500 XP. Definitely an OP build. <laughs> Uh, ask me about it later, Nikolai. Don't want to go over too many more design issues. Uh, it's going to take uh, too long to talk about. This guy's got a backup laser. Oh. Put him out of his misery. Or just miss a lot. There we go. Uh oh. This guy's a little close for comfort. Hey, he doesn't have any imp, so he's okay. Let him get here closer so we get maximum aim. think we can heal faster than they can hurt us, but might as well kill them because we fire so quickly compared to the rate at which we can heal using Proto Matter. <clears throat> oh shoot. Um, okay, let's leave. <laughs> Decided to duck into the caves just to do some exploring, some spelunking. See what the caves are like in here. Ooh, I hear some chainsword action. Yep, don't mind me, just collecting proto matter. Alright, managed to get up to full. I think the caves are probably relatively... Actually, yeah, the caves are going to be definitely easier in this mode. They're usually more dangerous, but in this mode, because you can get proto-matter from enemies, which is how you restore yourself, but in the normal mode, you have to either bring your own spare parts or try to get stuff from, you know, just from scavenging uh, from the uh, locals here, or patrols or whatever. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the stuff fries itself unless you use EM or are quick enough about picking it up. 
So yeah, that kind of goes against that part of the balance. All I really want is the proto matter. Programmers in a fight with some warlord folks, it seem. You were gonna get your butt kicked, but I saved you. Oh, now he's gonna die. To a patrol. Let's see who wins. Oh, I guess I'll help him. Oh my gosh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> we hit one of their engines. I uh, still lost. But we did manage to hit one of their engines. Blew a big hole in the wall. So anyway, they're playing here in the caves. I was just trying to see what the caves are kind of like. Oh, wow, this is an outpost. I guess we're not as worried about outposts then either. These are normally super scary places. Ooh, a lot of guys in here. What you can do in some of these, if you know where stuff is, is going the back way. And from here, or if we've done it, actually, we should have done it from like up here. And you diagonally hit in and you data jack these guys and then they fight their own outpost. I'm gonna get flanked here, maybe. But if we get these guys fast enough, it won't matter. Yeah, they're trying to flank us. Oh no. Oops, I had a pick attached. Did not realize that. Sorry, dude. Just friggin' chopped his gun off. And stay max matter because we do need a lot of what we have, a lot of uh, reserves. Get a long fight. There we go. Just an axe. Nothing else to see back here. Girov. Hello, Girov. Um, do we even need to go in here? Uh, <laughs> could say hi. Welcome. Yes, okay. Uh, nah. Actually, eh. <laughs> Just 
just passing through. Don't mind me. Proxy caves. These things are really ripping through the walls. Oops. Oh, it's an outpost. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, this guy's actually kind of nasty. Oh, our friends are finally here. <laughs> More friends. All right. So yeah, anyway, as I've been playing this through the caves here, I've been thinking of how um yeah, I'm definitely going to rebalance this. So that rogue mode is actually hard. <laughs> well, at least hard in the sense that the, in the regular game it's it's much more challenging. Because, I mean, after all, we do have the difficulty modes. And that will help. Uh, I'll change the mechanics slightly for uh, rogue mode in particular. Because as you can see, we now have 11,000 XP. But I would prefer that it be more challenging. Obviously, a lot of people are just starting out. People are, are dying, even like regular players, but also some are trying crazy stuff. So there's probably going to be room for that. But again, like I was mentioning earlier, I did want it to kind of err on the side of uh, being a little easier. I tend to do that with newer, newer features. Oh hey, J. Crow, the um, uh, RPG like it's a. Did you see the latest Cogmind announcement? RPG like is um, the newest mode. There's a new mode out. Okay, we're we we're playing the new mode. See, we have upgrades. We're leveling. You have XP, and you can gain levels and add new uh, stuff. It's the end of the year holiday mode, but it'll be active. Uh, later for people who want to continue playing it. Speaking of, look at that. We have 11,000 now. We haven't uh, raised anything for quite a while because of how effective all this stuff is. I yeah, probably could have shot that before we did that. So you really do, if you're playing in rogue mode and you're used to the harder difficulty, you really have to kind of make your own challenges, I think, for this mode. Or build OP interesting builds that you can't normally build just to see what it's like. But yeah, if you're looking for challenges, you probably need to make your own. But I mean, it's similar to like last year's uh, special mode for winter, where we had uh, you you were given some OP special items, different items each day at the beginning of uh, at the beginning of the run. 
allowed you to do different things. So I kind of went with that same theme, uh, although obviously in a very different form. But we're definitely doing this run without any crutches and still doing fine. <laughs> Cogmine wasn't an RPG before. Well, I call it RPG like because it, it uses more an RPG uh, progression system. The standard, more standard type where you have XP and leveling, that sort of thing. <laughs> Stormcleaver. Last year gives you OP items. This year makes all items OP. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. The alert level is 1Z again. <laughs> oh, a single one, right. Oh, got a little corruption there. Technically, could go flight. But yeah, personally, I, I prefer kind of these. I always, always, I mean, that's how it was designed originally like that. Is that I really prefer the uh, need to adapt to constantly changing situations. Because, yeah, this, this mode really does play a lot like other roguelikes where you get your build going. And then once it's going, and you just kind of maintain it, don't make stupid mistakes, and, you know, you win. It gets kind of gets easier over time. As opposed to Cogmine's regular mode where it clearly gets harder over time. Nineteen. We use nineteen matter per volley. Seeing if we can take on a behemoth. He's in siege mode. <laughs> Kinetic Inverter. I've wanted to use these in a regular run, actually. <laughs> Zinc says he has so much sensor he can see everything. Actually, yeah, we could do that. We'll go back and get the behemoth in a second, probably. Nikolai. <clears throat> you have so much support that flight don't care. <laughs> um, I mean, think about that. Right now, we have like sensor range. We have 12,000. We can get 60 sensor range. <laughs> That's what you can get if you spend like half of your levels. We haven't done much for like 13 levels now, probably. 60 sensor range. That would allow us to see 
uh, like a quarter of the entire map at once for sensors. <laughs> what else can we do? Uh, terrain scan density could be so high that we make one move and we immediately see everything within the range of our scanner. What else can you do with this much XP? Let's see how many utility slots we can get. Probably not that many. So you can, with all that XP, we can still only get up to nine utility slots, which is like a normal amount to have at this depth. Or actually, it's a little lower than a normal amount. So, core integrity. <clears throat> what can we do with core integrity? This is something I haven't been raising a lot because we have enough proto matter. But if you don't have enough, you generally, you sometimes might want to actually raise it just to give yourself some current core integrity. We can give ourselves three, up to 3,000. We do that for up to 3,000 core. That's a lot. It, it goes down, you know, you would only want so much of it though, because I mean, it, it goes down pretty quickly. What you really need is an effective enough build to take out, um, <clears throat> um, to take out enemies and get proto matter rather than just raw core. What else is interesting to have a whole lot of? Uh, mass support, you can get up to 75. Yeah, that, that way you could fly with anything. Obviously, you have, yeah, I mean, so then you only need a few propulsion slots, technically, if you're going to put all of your upgrades into that. 50% hacking. Range accuracy only so much, but you don't really need more than what we have now. Sight range, 27. That would allow us to see beyond the edge of the map that we can actually see in our view here, which combine and then combine it with our optical array right now, which I'm still happen to have, and then we'd be able to see about six spaces beyond the edge. So density is high, yeah. If only there's a way to get D thruster. <laughs> um, hmm. These are all capped at the bottom, so we can only do so much with that. We don't really need those. And we're not using thermal, so it's kind of these are more you you spec into what you're specifically going to be using. Generate 50 energy per turn. Again, this is extreme because we have a lot of XP we haven't been using much of, but it's because we've got an, uh, this build is pretty effective even without powerful utilities. But I'm getting a better idea of the balance of this mode, that's for sure. <laughs> if it had come out a week later, it would be uh, probably a little different. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's the end of the year holiday mode. So don't mind. Everybody can have fun with it. Seeing new stuff, probably. Doing new things. Hmm... Don't know if we can actually get that behemoth. Oh, look, there he is. All right, we need to first get rid of this squad. Oh. Yep, behemoth's firing at us. Got both of their reactors. Oh, whoops, wrong weapon. Hmm, sitting right in front of a behemoth. Oh, shoot. Didn't actually want to shoot him yet. I'm going to get rid of that grunt first. Then shoot him. Okay, now he's gone. <laughs> Erased him with a bunch of heavy machine guns. Recycler left. 
going to grab some matter from him. I guess we don't need it anymore. Oh, do we actually need a fabricated thing anymore? We have the... Oh, we didn't get the improved kinocellarity. Yeah. Nice. All of our machine guns now automatically do max damage. <laughs> the enhanced auto gun close to, but not quite. Damn. And that's just with an improved. Normally, they would do 18 to 20. Oh, wait. Yeah, what? Oh, that's right, because we have damage improvement as well. So, right. Normally, they do 18 to 25. Now, they do 30, but still give the delay mod bonus. So, we only, in like two turns... Because we also have a weapon cycler, which could be improved. So yeah, it's a lot easier to build um, very um, a lot of good builds with good synergies in this mode because you won't lose the parts as easily. It's still possible in the regular mode, and that's how the better people are able to do so well. It's by putting together really good builds that stay together. But um, in this mode, it's easy for almost anyone to do. As long as you know the parts and pay attention. These guys are in a hurry. Armory. Nope, oh, dead end. This pick is getting old. Yes, I know, you guys are resistant. <laughs> A giant engineering crew roaming these hallways. Oh, dang. I've actually never been to this place, uh, this entrance. Oh. <laughs> it's true, Storm Cleaver, because the damage is transferred to core of the screen shakes anytime anything shoots you. Quite true. Uh, it's true, we could easily get anti recoil, not that we super need it, and we pretty much hit everything anyway. Oh wow, a whole bunch of hypervelocity coil guns. <laughs> the armory defenses. Maybe we should switch <clears throat> just for fun. It's probably a good idea. Switch weapons, I mean. It would make our kin accelerator uh, yeah, less useful. These guys are just going to start getting in the way now. Well, they normally miss at least. Alright, what is this here? High velocity coil gun. 35%, 7 to 9. Oh, I wish there were mul you know, multi rails though. Wouldn't that be awesome? Multi rails right now would be really cool. Um, hyper velocity. I feel like this would kill stuff a lot slower. I mean, they don't have the... Nah, it doesn't really matter. I don't think we need to... 
Yeah, we've got to obviously replace the auto gun. Auto gun's less useful. Um, the plus four, oh, the plus four salvage. Yeah, that would cancel out some of this, but we're not having a problem with that now anyway. So if you're looking to optimize, it doesn't seem like we even need it. They're repairing the walls back here. Mm. Destroyed. Oh, need matter. No, we don't need to build anything anymore. Well, actually, wait, we should look. Trapping themselves outside the walls? I didn't see that. No, they were just there was one standing in a wall that another one was trying to repair, while one was maybe working on some other stuff out there. I didn't see. So this is armory. Heavy pick. Oh, finally, at least oops, slight upgrade. <laughs> Still not amazing. Turn off other parts. True R. That's right, we're the same. I already had a heavy pick. <laughs> oh, that was a nice miss. <laughs> that was a fast move. Got all the way around there. Kind of funny, we visited Jirov and now we're in Armory. We could have done some plot stuff that I haven't done. Fine, I'll go the other way. Oh, this is his terminal. Nothing good here. 11 active patrols. It's pretty crazy. It's a large number of patrols. <clears throat> you can see all the active patrols out here. Hmm. This is just the patrol's current location, though. They'll move. So it's only helpful to give you a general idea of where the enemy density is at the moment. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Zinc, you just got your longsword plus one stolen by a thief. <laughs> oh, damn. Getting a little careless. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, I don't need that. Oh, good. Use it. Hey, Sir Arcana. Oh, you thought you could take him. Uh, they're hard to hit. And they're they're not they're only interested in stealing, not fighting, so kinda dangerous. We don't really need actually branch access points. Hmm. Well we could go faster. <laughs>
crop slots are already costing 1400 oh we have a ridiculous amount of xp here um mass um let's see mass support is actually still pretty low no longer overweight <laughs> anymore and we should go for just another slot which we could do now might as well yeah mass support was more efficient for the beginning uh, I've got uh, some extra mass support though now oh that was to opening this door it was already open huh not paying attention. I was like, why is there a door opening? <laughs> oh, we have to go. Where do we have to go to get out of here now? Huh. Interesting. Interesting layout. Armory is kind of like a funnel. Had to fire two whole volleys before he could fire again. Huh. Oh, here's the quarter here. Ouch. Oh, disruptors. And an imp. Prototypes. Another one, sheesh. Apparently these patrols are all hanging out in the RCs. That's true, we already knew they were coming, or they were in there, so. Here comes another one. Oh, hyper velocity railgun. <laughs> These things penetrate through a lot of stuff. <laughs> hey, Phenom. Yeah, we could switch to all of these. I don't know though. Their the lack of um, damage is probably going to be not good in some cases. I don't know. Well, let me think. It only matters if things that are immune to crits. Uh, let's see. What is our volley time to? 238. Our volley time without a better uh, cycler will actually go be pretty poor by comparison. It'd take an extra turn to fire a bunch of them. Oh, lack of matter? Oh, is that true? How much do these take? Six. Oh. And these take four. Hmm. Yeah, also we have lack of matter right now. Yeah. Should probably pick up some more matter. Oh, yeah. Hello, guy. Guns, guns, guns. Hmm. Oh, raised yet another level. <laughs> eh. 
Eh, let's just switch for the heck of it. Oh, no overweight. How much does that take? 30 matter. Yeah, instead of 19. Um, Yeah, those things are heavier, that's for sure. VTOL modules. Ah, yeah, we'd have to go back and get another one up there. What is our speed right now? 100. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yep, we're overweight. Take a shortcut. Uh, actually, how much do these things even give? Oh, seven support? Huh. <laughs> yeah, specifically going for flight, it would seem it's actually not worth using a propulsion slot now. Because they only give seven. Each of these would give seven. Well, the difference is it would make us go a little faster as well. Oh, energy and heat are going to die. Eh, we'll see what happens. Um, oh, what are we doing? Oh, short on now. Oh, actually, we're only on by two. What? Oh, oh it's because I put the pick on. Um, yeah, that's more like what it was. Well, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, our heat, our energy. Yeah. With all these, we'll be drained a fair bit by energy. What are our power sources could be upgraded? Heat also is rising. We're actually behind the curve on our, our core heat, I think. We should be, we should have more of this. What about when we fire heat 66? Hmm. Probably not too bad, I think. Energy is the big problem. Mm. Yeah, these things do take a lot. I'm not used to running flight, so the balancing is a little different for me. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's see what happens when we fight this air scene. Satisfying volley, and we get crit kills. <laughs> okay, might have to worry about matter, but... Yep, just popping them. Matter storage plus cost 300 for plus 50. Let's get some more of that. Make up the difference. All right. We can also just generate some more energy. <laughs> there. <laughs> So the levels are starting to catch up to us a little bit. Hello, swordsman. Slightly corrupted. <laughs> oh. 
totally annihilating their parts, if not their core. Seems about as effective. This guy just got a small laser. This guy just got another small laser. <laughs> Dude, stop putting small lasers on them. <laughs> oh yeah, now we don't have to worry about the uh, resistances of hunters. Because we're not killing by broad damage anymore. In fact, we can remove the kin accelerator and put on a uh, target analyzer. Need to get one of those. Oh shoot, that dude came from the other side. Yep, we know, you have a small laser too. These are segregator traps. Yeah, go this way. You know, line these guys up, then the fire. Is there a target analyzer in this pile? I couldn't actually tell. I didn't think there was. Oh, there was a programmer from earlier. Oh, the pile to the right? I don't see any processes over there at all, though. Oh, no, wait, what am I talking about? Of course I do. <laughs> uh, cool. Oh, wait, there's an improved cooling system. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really need them. Um. I didn't see one. Targeting computer and a oh, an improved phase shifter. Is there another pile to the right? That one over there I thought didn't have related parts. Don't see anything. Oh, okay. Significant disruption, finally. Hey, wait a minute. Might want one of these. Light antimatter. Oh, it will be overweight, but... Well, what does this produce? 16, 16... Could technically put one of them on instead of the fission core. And be just on weight. Technically, we could get any kind of support we need, but... Where are we? Oh, yeah. ARC is two of them. We're moving really fast right now. Damn. Can move 13. All right, this is exactly what we want. Oh, shoot. Okay, that guy in the back is not exactly what I want, but oh well. Oh, man. That is something we cannot do with... Um, <laughs> that is totally not something we can do <laughs> with uh, the, the regular machine guns. Just kill them all at once. They're like all dead. <laughs> There's one who's going around the corner. I guess we got we even got the imp who was standing in the far back. That was that was pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty good, yeah. Oh, I can fire right through this machine. 
Not very effectively because there's two blocks of it, but technically we're firing through it. We can fire through walls too. Hmm, maybe we should go for sensors, huh? That's something I haven't done on a regular run. Like, we can know this, he's right behind this wall. Crit build using the new crit rules. I uh, just destroyed the ARC. <laughs> yeah, you die too. Uh, the exit is right here. Technically, we're in high security. Time to, yeah, <laughs> Stormcleaver says, time to get the 60 sensor range. Do we really need 60 sensor range, though? We still have all this X, X, EXP here. Mm -mm. Then we'd need another utility slot so that we could put on an interpreter just to, so that we're more effective with it. But we move so fast and other things move fast. It's kind of annoying. It's Farcom is much better because it's precise. You know exactly where things are in real time rather than sensors, which are slightly delayed and might not be accurate. We currently have enough to do the 644 sensor range. <laughs> I feel like if we, if I ended up doing that, right, suddenly need stuff elsewhere because we're kind of running weird slots. There's going to be a couple of sentries behind these doors. Oh no, where'd they go? Um, uh, oh, they're, oh, I already fought them. Hypervelocity railguns are pretty neat. I haven't done a, except for the multi-rail uh, run I did. Advanced cool injector. Yay. I haven't actually um, used a lot of hypervelocity weapons. Oh, hmm. What's the range isn't as good, but I don't know, it's 22, we just need to see so far. Far come, our branches run run. Yeah, should have done that this time. She should have made the run even harder using uh, some methods like that. Actually, that's what I was kind of thinking, that's what I was mentioning earlier. We should, for this rest of this run, maybe we should go into the research branches and get scanned. <clears throat> or probably powerful enough to take on combat programmers with hypervelocity railguns. I don't actually know. Don't, I don't know what their immunities are. I never, I never fight them because they're too scary for me in a regular run. Laser dance. Oh yeah, that's that's true. We could do that. Obviously, would fail. I will still fail at that for sure. Uh, we could go do that though. That's that's super secret. Uh, it's something I've never done. That's what I was saying. It could have been interesting if we'd gone to see Zhirov, but actually, we'd have to fight through uh, high security to get there. Even not too, too confident in being able to survive that. Actually, oh, it's tight. So they have coring resistance, which means we can't kill them with a critical hit. The best we could hope to do is crit off all of their parts, which is not all that easy to do um, because they have, well, I mean, it's possible. Uh, no, they, well, this is just, this is a Titan. 
it's not the hardest kind, but. Shed alert? Well, I don't know. Are we are we trying to shed alert? <laughs> I don't think alert really matters. Not with this build. Hmm. We think. All right. Um. I think I'm gonna because I'm gonna stream again tomorrow. And this run ended up again becoming OP. Hey guys, and again becoming OP. Let's um. Oh my god, that just like just annihilated them. I think I might do another rush to the end, so that I can try a different run tomorrow. The one tomorrow I wanted to try is the the uh, four slot run because that just sounds pretty interesting to try. Something tells me it would be a short run. Not because you'd lose, but because you'd probably want to avoid most things. Raise the lead get another level. 20,000 influence. <laughs> Our current alert level is 4A right now. It's not that high. Because we left right after it was entering high security. Got a botnet at least. The botnet still works. Wait, where are we? Bottom center-ish, looks like. Mm. Right. Forgot to put on the other railgun. <laughs> okay, this isn't going to work. Oh, okay, we're sort of on leftish. So we need to go the other direction. Actually, at max anymore. <laughs> All right, let's get a signal interpreter, I guess. Oh, great. Behemoth. Oops, wrong guy. Fine. Prototype device. Oh, hello everyone. Oh man. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. The only kill so far is the only two kills so far from them killing each other. <laughs> These real guns. Hello, programmer. Oh, he was alone. Nice. Target analyzer. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the accelerator. Advanced target analyzer. That gives us a plus eight percent to our crit chances, and each of these weapons already has a forty percent. So that's a decent chunk, considering we've got a stack of them. Oh, 
Oh, we have not used it. I just keep replacing the uh, inventory of Proto Matter Storm Cleaver. We kept, uh, I kept increasing the amounts when we find bigger chunks, but uh, other than that, I haven't actually been dropping it now. <clears throat> yeah, this build does chew through matter, but fortunately, we have pretty good reserves. Oh, an improved weapon cycler. I was just thinking about getting another weapon cycler. Shock bomb. Zero percent chance on an advanced weapon cycler. Nope. Yep, I fire like a billion shots, he fires one. <laughs> Antimatter reactor. Could probably replace ours. Eh, it's a little heavy. Well, we've replaced the light one. I was looking to replace the angular momentum engine, which is pretty old. It would allow for more storage. That's right, I was going to go north. It's actually really far north. Wow. This is research for you. Um, hmm. Yeah, this would take us into a research branch. Hmm. Yeah, it's a drone base. They don't have any weapons though. Yeah. Huh. Hack for oh hypervelocity multi rail. I'm, you can't hack for hypervelocity multi rail. I'm, I'm don't think. Aren't those rating ten? Or are is it only yeah? It's they've got to be. Yeah, a lot of ton of drones in there. Um, so anyway, I was thinking, what should we do? I was thinking of just ending this run by going through for a, a win, or we could do it by going to secretive, you know, Section 7 and uh, getting scanned intentionally, uh, or doing something in Section 7. What else can we do in Section 7? Oh, we can go through quarantine. See our research three. I haven't done that. <laughs> We could do that, and uh, that would mean we'd have to play this again. Uh, I'd probably stop now and play, finish it off tomorrow. The other option would be just rush to the end and do that different run tomorrow. Or do finish this run that way tomorrow, and then uh, there will be enough time probably to start the other run as well and try to finish it. 8870. What does everyone else think? Any opinions? Should we go into research and get uh, the warrior on our side, or yeah, and uh, and or get scanned? Really, same thing. I mean, they're both exciting, crazy things you can do in there. And the other one is um, <clears throat> yeah, just rush through this, and uh, what I'll start tomorrow is instead a four slot run. Get scanned, kill the guard. All right, well, we have one vote. Any other votes? <laughs> I, I I can see either way working okay. Either way, I guess, yeah, if we're going to do that, I'd probably I'd stop the stream now. It's pretty past time anyway, so. All right, Sir Arcan also votes for befriending Warrior. And Storm Cleaver says, Sig bro. All right. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll do that then. It's going to be really spoilery. 
Um, I haven't actually done that on stream before either. And it's not something I'm doing normal runs generally because I'm not powerful enough to do it. But considering how this run has been going um, and the balance, uh, I think we I should be able to at least pull it partially off. We'll see how it goes. So I will do that then. We will um, finish this run tomorrow. Um, and yeah, starting around a similar time. And uh, if, if we manage to finish that run, I'll do then a four slot run afterwards. But yeah, that means we're going to go through this door and end up going through research branches. Um, that means there's several more maps to do after this, and that's going to get rather difficult. Um, our build is pretty good right now, but honestly, it's not optimized still. Um, but we do still have an extra 9,000 experience we haven't even applied, so I'm leaving that in reserve. Um, we'll see what we can do with that. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the stream today. Thanks for showing up. I'm going to put the other stream from yesterday up on uh, YouTube this afternoon. Let's see, export that. And uh, I will uh, see. Yeah, this will be on YouTube as well. Uh, all of them. Well, uh, pretty much all the streams that I'm doing are. So the one from yesterday will go up this afternoon. I can't do it until the day after because technically I'm an affiliate or whatever. They you have a one a 24 hour delay on that. I used to do it immediately, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, this and this one will go up tomorrow, and the one tomorrow will go up the day after. So anyway, uh, yeah, thanks uh, for showing up. Um, enjoying RPG like mode before I I nerf it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the holidays. Do some fun builds. Until next time.